Okay, so ballet lesson one. We're here with Rudy, and Rudy is a beginner ballet, very beginner. He's taken a couple classes before, and he dances Zouk, and he wants to use ballet to improve his technique and learn a little bit more about his body, right? Yes. Okay, so first we want to talk about ballet, what it is. Um, so the movements in ballet are all verbs. They're not one specific movement. So I think that's what makes ballet so foundational for so many dances because plie isn't a specific move. Plie can be this, plie can be this, plie can be coming down from a jump, it can be taking off from a jump, it can be a preparation for a turn. It's just the movement and the word plie means to pleat, to bend. So the first thing that we learn in ballet is always the plies. So you can do plie in any position. You can do it with parallel feet. You can do it with first position, turn up. You can do it in second position, fifth position, third position, fifth position, fourth position. So let's just try the basic plie in sixth position or feet turned in, and then in first position. So these are our first positions, first two positions that we're gonna learn. So bring your feet together. Most important thing in ballet is your posture. So your posture has to be very uh, straight and lifted, very held. So you want to keep your knees stretched, your hips on top of your heels, your belly button pulled in, your spine long, your shoulders slightly open, and your head long and neck very proud. Okay? You're going to keep the same posture and you're going to start bending your knees, but as you bend your knees, you're going to imagine that you're being pulled up through your spine, so there's no pressure on your knees at all. You're going to think you're going up, and then as you stretch, you're pushing back down into the floor. So bend plie, stretching up to the ceiling, but really supporting your, your thighs and coming back up. Very nice. Now let's try it in first position. So just open your toes slightly using the tops of your hip bones to really turn up. And again, plie, using your thighs to pull up, no pressure on your knees, and stretch. And again, plie, and stretch. Perfect, and we're just gonna keep our arms down like this for now. So we're gonna do two plies in first position, plie and stretch, and plie and stretch, and then opening the toes, plie and stretch, and then again, plie and stretch. And I'm just gonna put this with a little bit of music, but the tips to remember are keeping your posture, keeping your full foot on the floor. So we haven't talked yet about ground plie where we lift the knees off the floor. So you're gonna keep your whole foot pressed into the floor and you're, not gonna, you're gonna try to not let your, the weight go into your knees. You're gonna be pulling up as you lengthen down. And the further that you can stretch, the deeper your plie is, generally the better. I have a pretty short plie, but the most important part is the technique. So mm -hmm. don't sacrifice the depth of your plie and your heels start coming up or you start sitting into your knees or you change your posture. So I'm gonna put some music and we're just gonna play with these two plies. So. Coming back together, completely parallel. Pull your inner thigh. 
good exercise for everybody to do, actually. Uh, so Rudy's gonna plie, and then he's gonna feel his inner thighs stretch together as I press press them open. So you're really gonna start developing in your legs uh, strong inner thighs, strong inner thighs, and uh, strong outer thighs. So. Um, in first position, in everything that we do, we use strong inner thigh work. So uh, in the plies, we start working on this. So Rudy's going to take plie here, and then I'm going to ask him to do full plie. Good. Keeping your heels on the floor. Very nice. Now you're going to come back up, stretching, but feeling this resistance as you stretch. Come back up, all the way 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 up, and pull your knees together, stretch. And then again, open the knees, plie. Coming down. Good. Keeping nice posture, belly in, and then resist coming up. Squeeze your inner thighs together as you stretch your legs. Stretch, 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 stretch. Perfect. So you can do this uh, with a friend or you can just imagine it. Imagine that somebody's holding your, your inner thighs open as you stretch them closed. This is going to give you a lot of strength, a lot of consciousness through the inner part of your leg, uh, which helps with pretty much everything. So. Plies in sixth position or parallel, and then in first position. We're gonna do it one more time with music, and I'm um, gonna let you guys gonna think. I'm gonna let you guys think about the posture, uh, the resistance, keeping your feet on the floor, and we're gonna do a series of four in sixth position, and then four in the first position. So uh, as we get more advanced, we're gonna come into different combinations, so different steps. Um, and you're going to have to remember because it's going to go with the music. So for now, we're starting simple, but four in the uh, parallel, four in the first position, and we're going to go back to four in parallel, and then back to four in first position. And then on top of that, you can start adding arms and things like that. So you can see how it starts to get a little bit complicated. But we're just fo focusing on the technique right now. So I'm going to play the same music. And... but this is kind of the building block, the first building block for ballet, which is these plies. This is going to become super important for almost everything that you do. So it, it's worth it to really focus on this um, in these two positions, focus on the technique because it's going to start getting complicated, changing positions, changing arms. You want to have your plie very strong. The second building block that we're going to talk about today is tendu. So tendu means to stretch, to lengthen. So we usually do this with our legs. We usually do this with our legs and our toes. So the basic thing uh, that I'm do is we're going to take, let's start in the first position, like this, and I'm going to have you flex this way. And you're going to be with your toes out. So this is called first position. 
is turned out position. So open the toes a little bit more, and this is going to be your first position. Beautiful. So now all you're going to do is you're going to press your toes into the floor and start lengthening this part of your foot. So push this toe down and out. Push this toe down and out towards me. And then start lengthening the top of your foot. Start lengthening the top of your foot. Keep this one where it is. Just this one. And then start lengthening the top of your foot. Stretch. Stretch the top of the foot. Push it up. Go more, more. Stretch, 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 stretch. All the way to the tips of your toes. And come back. Try on your own. Let's see. Push the toe away. Mm -hmm. Push the toe away. Beautiful. Good. And then stretch the top of your foot. All the way to the tips of your toes. To the tips of your toes. And come back the same way you came. Very nice. Very nice. So you should feel like this lengthening sensation from the whole leg as it turns out and then pushes away from you. And then as it pushes into the floor, maintains the length of the leg as you come back. So it's a constant stretching feeling. Mm -hmm. Good, so let's try with the other leg. One thing that's very important in the tendus is that your standing side doesn't move. So I'm gonna be, we have what's called a standing side and a working side. I'm gonna be supporting my weight with this side and I'm gonna be working with this side or dancing with this side. So this is my working side now. So I don't wanna move anything with my, my Standing side, I want to keep my standing side very strong and just think about doing this tendu with my working side and then keeping my standing side very strong, just closing like this. Mm -hmm. So keeping this will be your standing side now and this is going to be your working side and you're going to press down through the floor, mm -hmm. press out through the top of the toes, lengthen, 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 reach, 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 reach all the way to the tips of your toes, to the tips of your toes. Uh-huh, and come back. Good. Nice. One other thing we want to be careful of is you don't want the hips to enter into the game. This trunk is very, uh, not rigid, but it's, it's very separate. So the legs, we think the legs are starting right underneath your butt, really. So you're, everything in the trunk is, is staying together and everything else, the leg is trying to escape, but we're not going to let the hip go with it. So I'm going to keep your hips down, and you're going to try one more time to this side, pressing out through the toes. Good. Beautiful. All the way to the tips of your toes, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, and coming back. The same way that you came. Good. Very nice. So Tondu is going to help develop um, a lot of the lines that you're looking for. So. We use tendu when we walk, in, when we prepare for things, when we, we take it a little bit higher, but it's the same line for any double phase, things like that. So this is another very important uh, concept or movement, which is to stretch and reach. So let's do the same thing that we did with plies. We did four in parallel, and then four in a turned out position. We're gonna do the same thing with tendu. Now with tendu, we have a right and a left. So we're gonna do four with the right. One, two, three, four, remembering the working side and the standing side. And then changing to the left foot. We're gonna do left time, left time, do four, three, still remembering your posture, two, and one. This is in a parallel position. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn out the toes, and we find ourselves in a first position. In the first position, we're constantly using what we call andeor, or turned out. So we're turning out from inside the hip sockets. Um, and let's use that same rotation, that same turnout, to send our heel forward, and then to the tips of our toes, and then back the same way we came. Beautiful, good. And you want to remember that it's coming straight forward. So bring your heel forward. And then brushing the toes under. Back the way you came. 
in first. Again, brush the toes out, toes out, heels forward. And toes, try not to turn, turn this in. You want to kick the heels forward and pull the toes under. Does that hurt? No. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> so try not to sickle. So sometimes we have, beautiful, nice, Rudy, that is a beautiful foot. So sometimes what happens is when we point forward, we do what's called a sickle. So we bring our heels forward, uh, sorry, we bring our, drop our heels back. And we never want to be in that position. We always want to be with our heels forward. So imagine that this heel bone, you're presenting this heel bone forward. Good. And stretch the toes. And then same back the way we came. Toes down, ball of the foot middle of the foot, and first position. Good, and one more time. Pressing, stretching, reaching with your toes. Heels first, then toes, good. And back the way you came, toes on the floor. Good, and then we'll try the other side, the left foot, left. Going, drawing forward, heel forward. And to the tips of the toes, drop the toes down. Half point and all the way. And again, drawing the heels forward, heels forward to the toes. Again, the inner thighs are always working here. The posture always stays nice and strong. Lift it, good. And again, brush to the tips of the toes and back the same way. Good. One thing we want to make sure of at the end of the tendu is that there's no weight on the toes. So we don't want to we don't want to transfer our weight here. We want to keep the weight completely over our standing side, so that in the future this working side could lift at any time. Good. So we're going to do this with a little bit of music. Again, it's four with the right, then four with the left, turning out four with the right, and four with the left. So we're going to do this together. Let's see. Start again. We're the side. Remember the inner thighs and your posture. Breathing right foot. Out and in. And out. Sorry, that was wrong. Right foot. <laughs> one more time. One more time. So we're gonna do four. Four to the front. Four to the other front.
to the back. Um, and that's the last thing I'll explain. Back is a little bit, a little bit more difficult sometimes because the butt is there. So we, um, we have to be slightly lifted and slightly extended forward in order to compensate for that. So especially on a turned in, I'm gonna be slightly sending my weight forward. We call this an arabesque position. All the back tendus we call an arabesque position. And uh, it's because we have that long length, almost the, the comes from an Arabic word, I think arabesque is something in architecture that has like a long curve. I'm not sure how the, the name got to ballet, but it means that you have a long and elegant line. So that happens in two directions. Not only do I stretch this toe backwards, but I also stretch the crown of my head forwards. I always have opposite directions, opposite lines of energy. Good. So I take that toe back. I'm going to be stretching this part forward. Good. And go to the tips of your toes, all the way to the tips of your toes. Even more. Uh -huh. So this should have no 